Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking copywriting, making money, how to get better at writing. The only thing you really need to focus on to get good enough to make legitimate money with copywriting. So you've probably, if you're watching this video, you've probably heard about copywriting. You might be learning about online business. You might be wondering if you should get into copywriting. You might be a freelance copywriter. You might be in e-commerce. The cool thing is this basically applies to any of the online business models. Um, it almost applies to any business at all because we communicate everything through the words we speak and through the words that we write. This means like videos, this means websites, this means anything like that. So I got into this sort of world a few years ago and I was practicing, I was learning, I was becoming a freelancer, I wanted to get this online business thing going and you know, I kept hearing about copy. I was like, what does that even mean? Is that like a photocopy? Is it like a copyright? Um, you know, I had no clue. And when I made my first drop shipping store, like five, six years ago at this point, I remember someone mentioning, oh, it, like it matters what you say on your website. And I was like, no, nah, that doesn't matter. It's just words. It's just describe the product. Like who cares? That's how clueless I was when it came to realizing how important the words are that we use. So in this video, I want to show you why the words actually matter, how you can become a decent copywriter fairly quickly and how you can use this to make money fairly quickly. So let's just jump right into it. I wanna go over some of the key things that you need to understand when it comes to copy. I made this little free course about how to be a copywriter. It's called Six Minute Copy Course. I'll link it down below for free. But I just wanna walk through some of these points that you can become a better writer quickly and you can make money. So my emails, my copy, uh, has made at this point millions of dollars, which is crazy to say. I've worked for clients, I have my own brand, uh, I've driven millions through email, my ads have driven millions of dollars, and uh, it's wild to it's wild to say that, but it's just the truth, and I wanna set you up for success so that you can take some of these skills and do the same in your brand or uh, for whatever you're working on business-wise. So let's get into it. Uh, you don't need to be crazy good. When you get into this copy world, it's gonna be overwhelming. You're gonna be like, what do I need to learn? And the reality is you don't need to be crazy good to make good money. I'm just like a decent copywriter and that's good enough. I'm always trying to get better, but the, the reality is most people just suck. Most businesses just suck with their ads. They suck with their emails. Uh, it's not engaging. No one wants to read it. Nobody cares. And so the first lesson here is... Uh, you just need to be good enough and that's going to take you really far. So when it comes to writing, the first lesson is to just write with short sentences and be simple, be concise. Uh, a way that you can think about this is in a way that I learned it was a, fi a fifth grader, like you should write at a fifth grade level and that's going to make it easy for people to read. Uh, you want to assume that people are dumb and then you wanna to write to that level so that it's just really easy for them to follow along. So short sentences for writing, think just keep hitting the enter button like after every line. Like you don't want blocks of text, you wanna just keep hitting the enter button. You wanna be like, dear friend, enter, new line. So you just wanna keep that, even the way you lay it out, you want it to be easy. People don't wanna stare at a, a, a wall of text. They wanna break it up. And you would be surprised guys, when I was pitching companies, uh, for copywriting, I'd look at their emails and they'd have a massive logo and they'd have a massive paragraph with like size 10 font. Nobody's gonna read that. So instead, you wanna jump right into it with your headline, your your headline for the email or your sales page and then, you know, big size like 18 font or whatever and then space it out, easy to read sentences. Then you're gonna mix long sentences and short sentences. So uh, you're gonna say something like, I'm trying to have an example here. Uh, like, dear friend, comma, enter. This email will show you how to write words that make money so you can start making money today, period. New line, like you really wanna dumb it down. It's like, that might sound stupid out loud, but when people read, the whole goal of the copy is to get them to keep reading. And so you need to break it down into these short little things. So just think that lesson number one, the enter button is your friend. And uh, you're gonna wanna use that a lot. So the next thing is to write like a letter and not like an essay. You, you were taught in school to write like essays and all these qualifying statements and you know, the introduction, and it takes forever to get to the point. You wanna write these like a letter. 
And the old copywriters literally would do this. They would write, they would say, dear friend, I have an opportunity that I would like to tell you about. It, and it would be like a letter where you're kind of like, okay, what is this person, uh, what is this person telling me about? So write like a letter and not like an essay is another way to think about this. It's like, you're, you're telling a story, you're being personable. Dear friend, if you have been struggling with your e-commerce brand, then I have something for you. How would you like to learn the exact process I use to write simple little ads that generate millions of dollars? And here's the best part. It doesn't take three months or a year of college to learn this. In fact, you can learn this in the next two to three days, like something like that, right? You're writing it like a letter. Uh, if that sounds good, keep reading. Enter, the enter button is your friend. And so you keep going. Okay, the next part is to build on that is do not be boring. This might sound obvious as well, but so much copy, so much, so many ads, it's just boring, boring, boring. And it's like, why be boring when you can be interesting? You should always be asking yourself that question. How do you be interesting? Well, the cool thing is, and this is where I come back to, you don't need to be that good at copywriting. The cool thing is you can just be quirky or even weird when you start out. Like being weird actually is even, that's even good enough to get started. And so you can be like, hey, I was, uh, I was up late last night and I'm still hungover, but I needed to write, like throw in little things. <laughs> I'm not hungover, but uh, I'm trying to think of like an example to make it weird. Uh, hey, you up? Like, like throw in some texting, like some texting talk, throw in some, some engaging, you know, personable, uh, like vibes instead of, uh, that descriptive essay, like, you know, stuff that you're taught in school. Uh, I've got an example here. So it's like, don't say the restaurant was dirty. Say the restaurant was on par with a gas station bathroom in brackets. Yes. That means there was shit on the walls and, you know, toilet paper all over the floor. Like right away, someone's like, gross. That's like, like it's a picture. Instead of being, they're like, what? There was shit on the walls in the restaurant? It's an exaggeration. It, it creates an image in their mind. Uh, and you can use these little, as a side note lesson, you can use little brackets and things to, to do these little asides. You're like, you know, the morning was cold. No, no, no. When I stepped outside, immediately, the, you know, the snot froze in my nose. My eyelashes or my hair became rigid in the cold. Like they're like, oh, damn, that's cold. So those little descriptives, you can put those in brackets and dashes. Um, but that makes it not boring right away. That adds that, oh my gosh, that's, that's, you know, more gripping than just those general boring terms. Okay. The next thing is make it personal. Uh, and the example I have here is, you know, when your crush texts you back, the, the little bubbles pop up on the phone. And you're like, oh my gosh, like what, what are they going to say? Or they send a message and you like read it three times. You care so much. You're like interpreting it in different ways. And so you want to make people feel that level of excitement if possible, when they're reading your copy. Now it's gonna be pretty hard because they don't know who you are. They probably don't have a crush on you, but you want to think about that level of excitement with how much those words matter to someone. They could say, actually, I think you're kind of a loser and I don't wanna talk anymore. You're gonna be like, that's gonna like ruin your life. Like that's how powerful these words are. But what if they say, hey, I've been meaning to tell you, I think you're pretty funny and I actually wanna hang out more. Like, oh my gosh, then you're like, your life is, you know, suddenly suddenly you're just elated like this is this is the power of words and that's how you need to think about that so be personable um and uh speak in a way that uh you know we're speaking to the things that they actually care about and we want them to uh we want them to have an experience of emotion when we talk in this way so how do we make people feel that way how do we make them care how do we make them care how do we make them you know, have an emotional response. Uh, and we do that by speaking to their problems and desires. You might've heard about this with copywriting and you're like, oh, I don't really know what that is, but let's just bring it back to that crush example. It's like, you know, the problems and desires are, are pretty obvious. It's like, well, they want, they want to hang out more. So speaking to that, speaking to that in that example is like, hey, do you wanna hang out more? That speaks to their desire. It's like, of course they do. They want to move forward. Same thing with our prospects. When we speak to their uh, problems and desires, we want them to move towards whatever they're wanting. Um, so how do we make them feel this way? Uh, the best copywriters in the world, they do this, this work before they actually sit down to write, which is another thing. You need to know what the person 
you know, wants, you need to know the audience and what they care about. Otherwise, you won't have any idea how to write in a way that's going to make people feel emotional. So they, this is this, this is the part where people don't want to do this work. They don't want to think about who the person, you know, the person who's reading it. So for me, even making this video, it's like, I want to speak to the person out there who feels overwhelmed by cop by like th the topic of copywriting. I want to make it easy for them. I want to say, you can do this. Here's a few little tips on how you can do this. And you don't have to be smart to make millions of dollars with copywriting. You just need to understand a few simple things. I want to tell you the things in this video that should excite you. I hope, um, this is all summed up by a quote. One of my favorite copywriting quotes that I've mentioned in other videos that is the app that, that is the crux of all of this. And that is you need to enter the conversation already taking place in the customer's mind. This is how you connect with their desires. This is how you connect with their problems. This is how you can start writing in a way that gets them excited. Like when someone's crush is texting them back. Okay. Enter the conversation they're having in their mind. So like, here's an example. We're going to think of the person who's right, who's working a minimum wage job and they, they hate their job. They've got this, you know, fast food job at McDonald's and uh, they want something different. They've heard about online business. And so the example is like, what if I'm trying to sell a copywriting course to them um, so they could leave their job at McDonald's, they could make more than they're making in just a few hours a week. Like what would the problems of that person be who's working at McDonald's? So we wouldn't talk to them about building a massive business or like going back to school, like something that sounds you know, so hard to do. We want to make that super easy. So the example I wrote down is we would say something like, how would you like to sit down for a few minutes every day, write a few words in a Google doc, and then have a complete stranger send you $800 instead of putting in 40 hours a week at some greasy filet of fish kitchen. And so the example there is like, how would you like to learn how to write a few words in a Google doc, send them to a stranger and have them send you back your weekly paycheck? you know, in a few hours, as opposed to this whole, you know, brutal job that you're in, like, that's interesting. Then you unpack that. Listen, are you tired of getting up at three in the morning to go make like McGriddles? Well, you don't have to do that anymore. If you learn some simple copywriting tips, and you learn how to land a few clients, you can be making two to $5,000 a month in the next 90 days. And I want to show you exactly how that speaks to their problems and desires. Hey, how would you like to be able to take your girlfriend out to a nice dinner instead of always having anxiety when you tap your card because you don't know if your minimum wage job has hit? Those are the pain points and the desires of these people and that's what we want to speak to. Enter the conversation your customer is already having in their own head. That is key. Next lesson, be specific. No one gives a shit about theory. Uh, this is a hard one to learn. I'm still learning this. People like specifics and that's with numbers. That's with sights, smells, possibilities. Um, how would you like to make $2,500 every week from copywriting? Give that number, you know, call out a specific number. Um, people think in specifics, it helps them picture it. Uh, and it's way easier to, you know, picture what the person's talking about, have a connection with the writing if you speak in specifics. So don't say you will have a dream car in your driveway if you buy this course, say that baby blue G-Wagon with the rims. Even that, it's funny, it's quirky, quirky, but someone's like, oh, actually a real car they might start picturing their, uh, their real car, what they want. And adding those specifics is going to make the, you know, the dream outcome, the desire, you know, come alive in their head. How about instead of spending Saturday afternoons flipping burgers, you pull into your girlfriend's driveway in, you know, that new car and you picture her coming out of the house, you've got a restaurant reservation. I don't know, you get the point. You, you be specific about the outcome that they could have and they start to paint the picture in their head. Bonus lessons for copywriting are the frameworks. People, these frameworks are helpful. So if you're stuck, you're like, hey, how do I start? I wanna give you two of them. These are not mine. These are super well-known uh, frameworks you can use. So the one is PAS, pass, problem, agitate, solution. Let's use the example we already looked at. Problem is you're stuck in a minimum wage job flipping uh, burgers. A Next one is agitate. We want to agitate that. You're wasting your life. You're not get paying what you're. You're not you're not getting paid what you're worth. Uh, your your dream. Your, your life is passing you by. You know that's the problem. Agitating it with all these things. You you're going nowhere. Uh, 
you know, you don't even have enough money to take the trip you want to take. We, we want to agitate the solution. Get paid a few hundred dollars for only a few hours of work every day by tapping out words on your laptop. That's the solution, right? So we problem agitate solution pass. Uh, this is all in the doc that I'm going to share for free below. Um, the next one is ADA attention, interest, desire, action. It's very similar attention. Uh, what if you could quit your job and type a few words in your laptop to make the same salary every single week for a 10th of the time attention interest turns out you can if you learn freelance copywriting and land a couple clients you can replace your income that's like okay interest desire i want to show you exactly how to do it in my seven dollar course that you can get below i it's actually free but i'm just saying that now they have desire i want the course i want to learn how how would you like to learn the exact process that i used to land my first clients that paid me thousands of dollars a month to write little words in a google doc desire action is just a call to action well, you can hit the button below, you can click the link below and you can get that free guide so you can do exactly that. Attention, interest, desire, action. Those are how the frameworks, then you apply the lessons from above into those frameworks to actually make them hit hard. Uh, we've got a few more bonuses here and then I'll wrap this up. Always remember that the purpose of each line is co of copy is to keep them reading to the next line and then the final line is a call to action. So each time we wanna sell them on the next step, that's what you wanna think. Okay, if they read one line, how do we get them to read the next line? You're selling the next line and then the last line sells, you know, the call to action, which is the click here to buy the thing. Click here to get the thing, click here to download the thing. Another, another uh, tool to keep in mind is this concept that I kinda came up with, but uh, I'll just share it here, which is emotion and utility. So the emotion is like the likability of something. It's like, oh, this this like sounds easy. I like this, I like the sound of this. The utility is, um, oh, it has the exact steps to show me. It's like very practical. So emotion is like how you feel and then utility is like the rational. Oh, and in this course, he's gonna give me the exact steps. So you mix those two things together, emotion, utility. Um, so utility is like the how uh, and then get their dream, dream outcome. And the emotion is like the tapping into the desires. Uh, that is pretty much it guys. Um, that's kind of like, that's kind of like copywriting in a nutshell. If you dive into this stuff, you'll be good enough to like pitch clients and write emails that they'll be like, Whoa, this is really good. And it's like, you're just, you're just, just because you did this. Cause no one does this stuff. And yeah, once again, to back this up, my emails have driven millions in revenue uh, and this stuff works. Uh, this idea of knowing your prospect and their interests and desires will help you create ads, um, will help you create products even, will help you build a brand that resonates with the people that you want to serve, the people that your product is for, um, and it will help you drive more money than you know what to do with. So if you want the free guide where I just laid this stuff out, hit the link below, you can grab it there. Drop a like, drop a comment if this is helpful. Hope it was. Uh, people shared this stuff with me. I've paid thousands of dollars for courses and copywriting and coaching. I'm trying to download this all into this, whatever, 19 minute video. Uh, hope that helped you. Peace.